What's up my friends, welcome to another video. I'm Rob Stewart, I'm here to help you get your skin and your overall health back on track. I'm gonna walk you through the three day liver flush or the liver cleanse if you will. So here's what you're gonna need and then I'm gonna jump right into the cleanse. For This will be day one for me. So the things that you'll need is food grade Epsom salt. You'll need a glass jar with a lid like a mason jar. You'll need some measuring cups. You'll need about 10 apples. I weigh 190 pounds and so I eat 10 apples. If you weigh less, you could eat less. If you weigh more, you could eat more. You're gonna need a grapefruit and you're gonna need olive oil. And that's all you need to do this entire cleanse. Again, it takes three days and I'm gonna start with day one right now. Day one is all about apples and I like to keep it really simple and just chop my apples up. So day one, the only thing you have to do is eat the allotted amount of apples that you have to eat. For me, that's 10 apples. Again, I weigh 190 pounds. Excuse me, hold on. So that's day one, that's all you have to do. Welcome to day two. This is the most involved day. This is the day where all the magic happens. This is the day where you have to do the most crap. So I'm gonna jump right into it. So the only really weird thing that you're gonna be doing today is at 2 p.m., no more eating food of any kind except the concoction that I'll cover in a bit. Also at 2 p.m., it's a good time to get your jar. Glass mason jar is gonna be the best thing for this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna do three cups of quality water. I like to use natural spring water, it's my favorite. That's what I use, that's what I recommend. So three cups water, with four tablespoons of the food grade Epsom salt. Put the lid on, shake it up, and you're gonna take this salt water mixture. So again, this is three cups of water with four tablespoons of the food grade Epsom salt. This now at 2 p.m. will go in the fridge to cool down and you will get to this later. So it's now 6 p.m., go get your salt water mix and drink three-fourths of a cup of it. So 6 p.m., drink three-fourths of a cup. Three-fourths of a cup, 6 p.m. Uh, pro tip, get it down fast. The faster you get it down, the better life will be for you because it does taste like absolute crap. Day two, 8 p.m., it's time to take another drink of our salt blend. So this is round two, another three fourths of a cup from your blend. I'm not looking forward to it. Not that bad. So just to repeat, at 8 p.m. you take your second three fourths of a cup dose of the Epsom salt water. Okay, now welcome to the funnest part of your evening. Here's where you have to pay attention to some details because you wanna do this directly as I do it, including going directly to bed after you take the concoction. So here is what we do at 9.45. You're gonna take an entire grapefruit. You're gonna drop it in your blender. You're gonna add half a cup of high quality extra virgin olive oil on top of that grapefruit and you're gonna blend it until it looks like a delicious milkshake. At this point, you're gonna drink down your concoction as quickly as possible. You don't have to rush it. It's almost a white color. Um, and I, I do like to take the olive oil with the grapefruit down as quickly as possible, even though it tastes really good and I could kind of sip on this as a drink. I found that the liver cleanse, the liver flush, works way better if you get the liquids kind of in you all at once. It does create a more profound cleansing detox the next morning. So I'm gonna get this down in as fast as I can. Ah, tastes pretty good. It's almost like a weird smoothie. Um, just some details though, when I say take this down as fast as I can, I'm not trying to chug this and create digestional weirdness. I'm just not moseying around, so back to it. And it's only two cups plus the grapefruit, so it ends up being about four cups of liquid.
And that's it. <clears throat> actually tastes pretty damn good. So here's the most crucial part of the entire cleanse, in my opinion and experience. Once you have drink in the concoction, it's time to go to bed. And I don't mean take a shower, brush your teeth, watch TV. I mean from finishing the drink, go directly to bed. Okay, so here's a really crucial part, and you might laugh at this, but it's actually a really crucial part. When you get into bed, lie in the fetal position with your knees up, up towards your chest as much as possible and get comfortable and you're just gonna wanna pass out and just go to bed at this point, straight to sleep. And that's actually what I'm gonna do right now. I got my fan on, I'm about to black out my room and I'm just gonna turn in for the night. My stomach is filled with the concoction and when I wake up in the morning, I will show you guys exactly what to do for day three. Day three is where all the magic happens. So. My tummy's a little ergly burgly, so I'm gonna try to pass out and uh, let the process do its thing. Good morning, fine people. Welcome to day three. I actually slept like a freaking baby. Okay, so as soon as you wake up in the morning on day three, you're gonna wanna take dose number three of the salt water concoction. And I'm gonna tell you what, for some reason on day three, it's always the super nastiest. So here's three fourths of a cup. This is my almost final dose. I don't like that. Dose number one sucked. Dose number two was easier. Dose number three sucked the worst so far. So it's now two hours later. It's about 8.45. So two hours after you take your first morning dose, you're gonna take your last three quarter cups, so three fourths of a cup of the Epsom salt drink that you made yesterday. It's your last one, no more. And then the magic will happen. So here we go. <clears throat> okay. So here's what you do with the rest of your day. Most likely, you're gonna be going to the bathroom quite a bit, so it's good to plan day three, kind of to have nothing to do. On day three, generally, I feel totally fine. Like right now, I feel actually super high energy. Um, but within the next 30 minutes to two hours, the concoction from last night and the salt water from the previous two days is gonna take hold and I'm gonna have to get to the bathroom and all hell has a chance of coming out of me. Now, if you've never done one of these before, you can have gallbladder stones and liver stones and all sorts of weird mucusy, mucoid, placky, dark, poopy, diarrhea-y, gnarly stuff come out of you. And there is a chance that you might have several poops throughout the day. So today I will be doing absolutely nothing. It's Sunday, so I'm just gonna watch football. I'm gonna catch up on some work and some emails and just kinda chill at home. Um, if I can, if it's warm enough, I'm gonna get outside and get some sun. But other than that, I'm not gonna really do much. The main question I get is when should you eat after the liver cleanse? Um, and generally what I'm gonna do is today will be a very light day of eating for me. I'm gonna allow my body to go through what it's gonna go through in the next hour. And once it's over, when I feel naturally very hungry, I'll just go about eating my normal super clean day of eating. Um, I will have a video coming out um, to give you guys some tips and tricks on how to make this thing even better. So look out for that if, if you enjoyed this one. But that's it my friends, that's the entire process. And thanks so much for watching today's video. If you need help healing your skin, if you have gut health issues, all of my coaching offerings, my school, everything is down in the description box. All you gotta do is click any of the links. If you need help healing your skin and you wanna get the job done right, all of my offerings are down in the description box. Leave your questions and comments down below. Remember to subscribe and share. I'll be back with many more videos really soon. Much love, peace.